Now, when you go from one red area to another, you go from here, hopefully fully resolved. The red uh, peaks here are the peaks that has the lowest resolution. If I go to the blue, I should lose the resolution. As you see, peak one and three over here are co-eluding. If I go back to a red area, they should resolve, but you see they switch the order. So I go three, one, now co-eluding, then I go one, three. Now, one thing uh, you could say that this resolution map is not as beautiful as the one I showed because we, use, we, we do a little bit of trick here. If you look at the right axis here, uh, the red area has a resolution of 3.72. The green is 1.7. So really this area should give full resolution. So if I click here, it's still full resolution. We do a little trick here. I go to the map coloring and I decide to have the resolution beyond 1.5 to be orange. And uh, this is what we were showing in, in the presentation. So now if I start here, for example, I go to the blue, I'm losing the resolution between one and eight, and then eight, one, and so on and so forth. So as I move in this resolution map, I'm really switching the order here. And just to confirm, you know, when I look at the accuracy of the model predicted versus experimental, you know, at the conditions we ran, it's all it's all green. I mean, it's, you know, a good fit here. And delta retention retention time, it's all less than 0.1 minutes. So this is really good uh, model and gives us all of these uh, peak crossover areas.